such a great ending that is and the only film that Henry Fonda ever produced and I'm back right now with a TCM fan who chose that film for us this evening Ona Lee McGraw welcome back Ona Lee now let me ask you something how do we find you well I just had to enter the ultimate fan okay contest and so and what movie did you introduce I in your chose no way out which right. is so dear to my heart Sidney Poitier and Richard Widmark Linda Darnell uh, Linda Darnell Joseph Mankiewicz yes, Joseph indeed. Mankiewicz writing and directing right so brilliant so did you have fun making your video I did it was very simple I didn't have any props by the time I saw what everyone else had done I thought oh for heaven's <laughs> sakes I can't go to Los Angeles or New York <laughs> this is just in my dining room hello I'm Ona Lee McGraw, and I'm a huge fan of classic movies. And I did have to read it, uh -huh. and that's why I had those glasses on uh -huh. to, to read it. Um, but it was just from my heart, and uh, I just I just loved doing it. And I didn't even know what YouTube, how to do it, or anything. But I had people to help me turn right. it into YouTube. So were you a movie was, fan from a uh, early age? Oh my goodness! I saw It's a Wonderful Life in the theater when I was seven so when I saw your documentary of private screenings uh -huh. I just I went nuts because it was my life uh -huh. too except a few years uh -huh. you know behind you yeah. and and that same time period when you could go by yourself right I walked to the Fremont theater and I went all the time by myself but I also went with my friends so yeah it was from the time I was about seven so it's so nice to have you here. Thanks for being one of our guest programmers. It's been Thank a treat you. for us. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Okay. And we may be saying goodbye right now to our special TCM guest programmers for the night, but do stick around because we have another interesting courtroom drama coming up next. This one's starring Glenn Ford, Dorothy McGuire, and John Hodiak. <laughs>